Hey guys. All right. Sorry about that. Happy Place Creations. Woohoo. We're going to start again. Okay, so this is where we ended off right here. Um, I'm going to put my second... Uh, get this over here so I don't have to keep going over you. I mean, uh, yeah. Now, I cut this one a little short, so I'm going to have to short myself just a smidge on the ends here. And I'm going to line this up right, oop, right there. And I'll just have to figure out if it bothers me, I'll have to cover it. And right here. There we go. And let me see if I can get that. There we go. All right. Where's my rag? Here it is. All right. So, I can move this bag out of the way. So there's that. And then, um, again, you got this. And we're going to put, uh, oh, let me, hold on. I'm filming, hon. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so, here we go going to get a little bit of this here, here, and here. Again, you do this because you want to have that extra space to that the, uh, the piece will go, the, the tag will go all the way down in there. And so this... is just a titch short. You move this over and get this. Okay, so a little bit shows up. Cut that a little short. And this is what I'm talking about when you glue something in there. You want to make sure that you can uh, not, that you're looking and you're not getting glue where you're gluing the inside of the pocket down. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, I have, uh, yeah, I do. Um, so here's this piece, and I'm going to put this right here and glue that down, and then I'll glue my pocket down. Um, I do have my glue gun uh, on, so I'm going to hot glue this down and see if that's going to hold it. Just give it some glue right across here and stick this in it. And we'll see. And I don't want it to be too... I just kind of stick my hand in there. I don't want it to be too... Um, high. So I just stuck my hand down in there so it wouldn't um, be a big bubble. Uh, I, I do wait till it cools off a little bit, but um, it usually doesn't bother me too much. So we've got this one going to go here. And then this will go across like this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I don't know. Like I said, if I don't like it, I'll cut it out. But I just thought it would be something kind of cute. So, let's see. How long do I need this puppy? Go from this one to here. And get my scissors. Okay. And I'm going to Stick. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one on. So it's on there nice and tight. Okay. Good. I'm not 
tying this down, I could, I guess it would probably look a little nicer. Yeah. So let me, so next time I'll know I'll, and I probably put way too much on there. Oops. Yeah, I like that much better. Okay. Just looks a little more finished. Okay, so then we're going to do this to get the measurement of how far I'm going to have this stick in here. I might even have to cut more of it out. Uh, I was thinking kind of doing it banner-like. Let's see if I, if I have it like that. And I could hang a little banner down from it. Pull it out just a titch more. I could pull it, make a little banner on there. I don't know what it'll say, but yeah, okay. So I'm going to leave it right there and hot glue that in. All right, I'm just going to stick this across here and get a little bit underneath and stick it down. Yeah, it gets a little hot. <laughs> But I just kind of wait until it's, and I'm just flattening it down because I don't want a big lump. I want it to lay flat. And then once it cools down enough where you're not going to pull it off the paper, just kind of roll your finger off of it. And that way it'll be nice and flat. Okay. Glue this down. So I'll put a little glue right across here, right across here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And close it up. And lay it down. Let me get my... I want it to get down in there now. That. There we go. Get it nice and tight down on there. Okay. So there. Again, don't know quite what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think I like it. And I just I'm going to get that page built before we put it on. Okay. Um, so then we're going to do the flap. I'm going to put the flap around the bottom here. There we go. And I think I'll round these corners. Oh, that's the angle one. Round the corners. Here we go. And we're going to use the half inch side. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yep, like that, like that. All right. I, you know, I'm I'm really not used to paper that is this loud. I mean, this this is very busy for me, but I'm just trying to work through it. And maybe everybody's be going, to, "Oh my God, it is which is way too busy." But that's just, that's the paper, you know, and I'm adding this really beautiful blue to it. But um, now I'm not going to put this all the way up to the edge. I want to give it a little bit of room so it'll actually be able to fold over using the, um, the crease. And that's going to make it lay down better. Give it a little burnish here. Okay. Doing all right over here. All right. So, so there's my basic. And then I'm just going to do this here. Like that. And I'm leaving a uh, the edge here so all of this workings has a place to go. 
All right, that's that's important. And this one I'm just going to glue here, here, and glue here, here, and here. Make sure I'm getting everything in the picture. I um, My birthday's coming up, and I'm going to see if I can get a better setup for my um, getting me these tutorials done and um, something that I can, uh, yeah, something I can do to, so I can pause and things like that. I thought I could pause on this camera and that's what happened in the first video. I, I couldn't. <laughs> there was no way to get it started again. Um, so I just had to start a second video on it. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then on the front side, I was, but I have not been able to find the paper. Um, oh, here it is. So I'm going to put a little pocket down here so that I'm bringing this down here. And I kind of like that. I mean, again, it's it's very busy. But then what I put on here, I think, is going to see because this is going to go here. And there's going to be um, just a little tag in it. And the little tag is somewhere. Yeah, I thought I had all of this together. But I guess I don't. But anyway. Um, and I rounded the corners and that's just not that big a deal because I'm just going to, this is just going to be a shallow pocket. So I'm going to put the edge here and, um, oh, you know what? It would, would help if I cut it to fit first though. Okay. Let's see. Ruler. Ruler, yeah, the ruler, mm-hmm, get my old ruler here, this one works pretty well, five inches, let's just cut this five inches, okay, let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so actually I'll end up having to cut just a little edge off there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I say that a lot. I've noticed in my um, videos I say that a lot. I'm just not going to worry about that. Um, so this is going to be the, oops, run off of the page there. All right. I'm going to flip this over so that it's, I got it right? Yes. Alrighty. So there's that. Come around here. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to take the half inch side and give it a cut. There we go. So, and I'm going to trim this just this ever so slight hanging off here. There we go. Perfect. Make sure I've got... Oh, there we go. Okay. I do not know what I've done with the tag that I was going to use in there, but anyway, um, just so you can see what it is, um, this is a frame that I cut out, and then I fussy cut it, um, uh, fussy cut, um, Mary... Mary with one of her lambs and um, so that a tag will go right down in there and I'll eventually find the tag throughout the video here um, 
and uh, I thought that would go. I thought that would go, and I might even leave it without the tag, and a picture can just be slung because I like the black. Yeah, I like that, and uh, so that's probably what what I'm going to do right here. And I just took a piece of black and um, folded over uh, just a, less, a little less than a quarter of an inch on both sides and glued the bottom down. And uh, then glued the frame to it. And... Um, that's how I made my my little frame here. Oop. Oop. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to put down little Mary here. There we go. Tell you, I've been not doing great on my gluing here recently. Lots of extra glue. Usually I do a little better than that. Okay, so there's my one side. Uh, I will do some more in here, and I'll probably do something along here. Um, just, I'm just not sure yet. Uh, and I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with my little rope here. I'll figure something out on that one as well. And of course, when you put the um, your tags in, your tags are going to cover most of this up, so you're not going to see all of this at one time. Um, you'll, you know, the tag will come up to just about here and cover the majority of this, and then this, and um, I'll, let's see, did I have, uh, where was my... I had this I was going to put here and then stick my two little tags in there and uh, just kind of uh, add to you know, kind of bring these things have them all over um, so I got to glue all of this down glue all of this down the lower part of this all of this and all up there okay so let's get this done Get all of these things. Sorry if I get off camera. I'm so sorry. I've been trying to pay more attention to that. Because um, I noticed in the, one of my last videos, it's like, okay, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, so, you know, you guys got to let me know if I do that. Just say, hey. And just the lower part of this. And I think I took it just a little too far over here because I want to have room for all those tags. Okay, and I'm just going to lay it right here. Now this is something I fussy cut it out, fussy cut it, fussy cut out. And you know, I I more and more I do, the more I enjoy doing it, and the more I enjoy having them on my. Um, artwork. Now this paper um, I kind of wanted to see if I could do um, well I knew I could do it but uh, what it would be just to do an entire book with just using the paper line that I purchased and I, I did have these little tags um, that I bought but just just trying to do it totally off the paper so all of the decorations I mean uh, you know little things like this but you know not buying all the chipboard pieces and all the stickers that went with it um, I just wanted to see if you know how much more work it would be to cut all my own embellishments out and, and do that kind of thing so it's this has been different for me and I um, I've really enjoyed it um, really enjoyed it so um, it's just a different way I won't do them all this way 
Um, but yeah. Okay, so we can, uh, this I, well you'll see in the next page I'll show you. I'm, I'm, I did the magnet on this page and uh, through my uh, Xyron and the cover, though the clear cover that comes on it goes the magnet on the bottom and the clear cover on the top. Well, the clear cover was sticky. And I had to just ever so slowly pull it off so that it wouldn't pull my design off. It pulled off a little bit on the end here and a little bit here. So I just took, I took my Tim Holtz inks just trying to match it up. It did match up great, but I, I'm not that unhappy with it. I, I will um, do some more, but I just wanted to get this video going because uh, I knew I only had so many, so many, so much time. Um, so this is going to go on this side. This is my opening again to my book. Um, and so this is going to get glued down on this side. And I think... I'm going to go ahead and glue it down now. So we'll have that done. And you know what? I think I'm going to use, let's see, oh, I don't have any half inch. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I think I'm going to use score tape. It's just going to be better. Get that off of there. Uh, it's going to be stronger. And I didn't get that up on the edge. I like to get this stuff right up to the edge, and I, I didn't there. But um, I, I can't see well enough because I can't lean over because my little rig here I have to hold my camera up uh, kind of gets in the way. <laughs> and I know I can't get my camera to go far enough away so you guys can see everything. So that's kind of what I'm going to be asking for for my birthday. So we'll see. We'll see. It can be a birthday Mother's Day thing. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, usually, usually I put this on with glue. But um, I also usually build it right onto the bag. And I just feel like I might be a little more happy um, so I'll take these off and I'm gonna add some glue in the center my fingernails look absolutely horrid uh, so I must apologize for that. I did not get a chance to do... I've been trying to do my nails more. My girlfriend gets on me. And uh, here they are looking really bad. But everybody will live. I'm more interested in what I'm doing, I hope. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to lay this down. And I'm lining it up with the largest side. Oops. Ah, let go. Okay. One thing, these bags don't rip real easily, and I like that. I'm going to have to turn it this way so I can see more of what I'm doing. Lining it up with this here. Let's see, how's that? Nope. Oh, it's just going to have to do... Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright. Here we go. Okay. So, one side done. Flip it over. Now, for this side, I've got my base sheet. 
I've got um, okay I've made these little fellas um, and I've got one more somewhere oh lord here it is okay so I got three of these one of them is gonna go on this let's see which one was this yeah this one it's gonna go on this and I don't know that I'm going to like it if I do that way. But that would hide where it ripped that paper off. But, yeah, I think I will do that. So this is going to go on here. Like this. Um. And boy, is this not cut great. I tell ya, oh, this is supposed to be on the bottom. That's why. Because of the way the bag is. Okay, get this all lined up here. Okay, so we have... This is going to be like this. This here. Pull this down a little bit. Like that. I, mean, I guess it really is not going to matter, but um, okay. So this is going to be like this, and then um, this piece. is going to have this and it's going to attach oh, and it's going to attach to the page So it's going to be, a f but this is going to be, I've got two pieces here. This is a pocket I cut out. Now all I did, there you can see it, all I did was poke two holes and then I cut out, you can see across here between those two pieces, I cut that black out. So I punched a hole there and I punched a hole there and then I cut out the black part so it still looks like one solid piece but yet it's and I put this in to actually make the pocket but then I decided I was going to have this open up and I said okay well I can't deal with that so uh, I'm using the other side of this so that I have um, a pretty back to it so I'm going to Put this on both sides like that so you'll you won't see this black and but it'll flap open and 